Hey everybody, my name is Ty Tesman and today I'm going to show you how to build a 1 8 diff for the x-ray cars. Uh, before we get started, you're going to need some diff oil, uh, a 2 millimeter wrench, a, I like to use a, a dart for a poker to apply grease to places, I'm going to show you that in a minute, and then some joint grease. I like to use a hoodie joint grease, and then some o-ring grease, which I like to use 110 RC sweat for the o-rings. Um, you're going to need some needle nose pliers, and also, I'm going to be using the extreme heat resistant diff pins this time. Um, it's not really necessary, but we kind of put our cars through uh, a lot of torture and some really hot temperature races. Um, so the diff gets really hot and it just kind of extends the diff cup life. Also, use the hoodie air vac um, up just to speed up the process a little bit. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start with some motor spray and paper towel. And I'm going to clean out the uh, diff cup where the outdrive sits and the outdrive itself. From the factory it comes with a coating that keeps it from rusting and I don't want any of that in my diff so I'm going to make sure that's all cleaned off before we start. Once I got that cleaned off I'm going to take the hoodie joint grease and my dart that I apply it with and I'm going to put it in the groove of the outdrive as you can see there. I'm going to put a lot in there because I want to make sure it's fully lubed up and not going to um, get dry or seize up while you're running the diff. So make sure you put a lot on. Once I get the groove covered, I'm going to um, kind of wrap it around the outdrive as well. Make sure it's completely covered. And then I'm going to do the diff cup as well. So put a little bit in there where the outdrive sits and I'll wipe off the extra that comes on the outside. Now I'm going to coat the o-ring with the grease. I use 110% RC sweat for this. Make sure the o-ring grease is uh, fully worked into the o-ring. This keeps a barrier from the silicone oil getting in and affecting the o-ring. I'll put the bearing on now, and then while I'm putting the outdrive in, I'm going to turn it. So you just make sure it kind of seats in there good, it works the grease in around everywhere. I'm going to drop the o-ring in there, put it around the outdrive. And I'm also going to take some of the o-ring grease and put it on the washer that covers the o-ring. This makes a nice good seal for it so it doesn't let any oil pass. Drop it in there, line it up. And then this also helps seat the o-ring in the diff cup as well. Let's take my pliers and kind of push the disc down, kind of seat it in there. Now take the pin and place it in there as well. And I'll work it around, turn the outdrive, make sure everything's free and good. Then I'm going to add a little bit of oil to that diff cup so it's under the gear, so there's no air bubbles or anything under there. Then I'll place the gear in and I'll align it with the pin. You'll feel like a click and it'll kind of go down extra. And sometimes you use pliers and kind of just so it puts equal pressure on both sides and it'll click into place. I'm going to put a little bit of diff oil in there, about halfway, just so it's underneath the gears, underneath the pins, everything has the oil in it. And I'm going to put some silicone oil on the diff pins itself. With these super resistant or super heat resistant pins, they have a little step down on the outside, is where the little puck sits. So I'll put the gear on, and I'll put the washer on, and then the little puck on the outside. So I'll do the same process on this side, gear, then the washer, then the puck, and then I'll align the pucks so that they can be slots, uh, dropped into the out, uh, diff cup. Then I'll repeat the process for the next one. Just kind of push the gear in a little bit, seat it in there. And once I got that side done, I'm going to put it in, align the pucks again, 
and then I can take my screwdriver and align the flat spots on the pins with each other and kind of push them together. And then I'll spin the gears to make sure there's no there's oil in all the gears and no air bubbles. And then I'll also push oil into the on top of the pins in that little square spot that's that's right there. Make sure there's no air in there either. Just kind of push oil into each spot. Now I'll place the diff into the air vac and suck all the extra air out. Set that aside and now I can work on the other side of the diff. So again, I'll start with the motor spray and paper towel on the out drive and inside the gear. Getting rid of all the, the extra oils that come from the factory out of there. I'll go back again with the, my little dart with the joint grease and apply it to the out drive in the groove. Put a lot on again, make sure it's completely covered. And then around the outside as well on the shaft. And then I'll do the same to the gear, put some inside. When you put the outdrive into, it will squish out, so don't worry about that if some squishes out. It's better to have too much than not enough in his case. Put the gear on, then again I'll turn the outdrive as I put it in, make sure the grease is um, kind of squished in all the way around. Wipe off the excess, and then I'll coat the o-ring with the um, o-ring grease. Make sure it's a worked around good, and I'll put it on. And then I'll do the same to the washer again. I'll put the o-ring grease in the washer. And make sure that you put the, ring, the grease side down towards the O-ring again. And that'll again help um, guide the O-ring into place. Kind of push it in there, wiggle it around if you have to. Slide the O-ring with that pin in, get it kind of centered up in there. And work it around. Another thing I do is put a little bit of um, silicone oil on the gasket itself and that'll keep it in place while I'm working on the diff and so it won't slide around and stay lined up and make it just easier to work on. And it'll give it a better seal as well. And kind of line it up with the holes, press it down. Make sure it's completely seated. And now my diff should be ready to go. The air should be out. And remember, if you run really thick oil, it's going to take a little longer for the bubbles to come out, so take that into account. Now I'll place the gear on the top of here, and then just kind of turn it around a little bit, make sure it's set in there properly. And I'm going to wipe off the top. This way it doesn't have too much oil in it. I'm not going to spin the gears, I'm just going to hold the diff steady and wipe off a couple times, make sure there's no extra oil. Now I'm going to line up the diff pin or the slot in the gear so I can align it when I put the top on. Set it on gently. And then when I'm putting these screws in, I'll put I'll tighten them kind of like a car tire. So I'll put the first one in loose and then put it, get them all started and slowly tighten them up um, opposite of each other. So the reason I tighten them up like this is so that the gear doesn't go on crooked. If you put one screw in really tight and put the rest on, it sometimes can be off aligned. So you want to make sure it's nice and flat, tighten it down equally opposite of each other again, and slowly go around until they're all tight. 
and the diff is finished. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, that's how I build my diff. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.